Hey everybody, we are joined for another exciting backyard garden tutorial session with Grow Life Supplies. All right, so I'm going to hand the mic over to Mr. Jermaine Turncrest and he's going to take it away for today's backyard garden tutorial session. All righty. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so today what we are going to be doing is prepping, clearing and prepping the garden for future replanting. So if you look at the garden right now, what do you see when you look at the beds? You brought some some stuff up earlier. What were some of the points that you made? It's a bit dry. Uh huh. There's an excess amount of bugs. Mm -hmm. What type of bugs did we identify? We call them aphids. Uh huh. Um, mm -hmm. with, with a lot of discoloration to a lot of the plants mm -hmm. because of the aphids. And what do aphids do in particular? They suck out the chlorophyll from the plants. Yep. And then. And the glass. So we can safely say that that is a very plausible reason for the discoloration in some of the plants such as the kale. Um, what else do we see? So when we look at the Swiss chard there, Leo, you said that it looks dry. dry. Yep. Alrighty. So that would mean that we need to uh, make some changes to the irrigation system. Make sure all of the emitters in the drip lines are cleared. Aside from that, the main thing that we're going to do today is crop out all of these plants. And all cropping out the bed means is simply removing all of the plants and we're going to till the soil. And then we'll just smooth it back over and let it sit until we're ready to add compost and fertilizer and different layers of nutrition for the next scheduled replanting of our crops. All right? Everything. Everything is coming out. So when you crop them out, we're going to... You can start right now. Them. Just grab one of them and pull it. <laughs> so if we just going to crop them out, is it going to be like, are we going to use it for compost? Uh, this, this particular set, no, because we already wow. have um, compost that's some nice, fresh, organic compost that's going to be on the way here soon. Okay. We do the beds. So it doesn't have to be pulled out, pull out any particular way, right? You can just rip them out. It doesn't matter. Just rip them out. Roots and all. You want the roots out. <laughs> Sorry, I feel like I'm weeding the garden. Technically, in a way, yeah. <laughs> so, Jermaine, is this a necessary process <laughs> within your garden, like gardening? Are your friends there? Yes, you want to replenish the soil. Uh huh. Um, another reason why you may experience um, difficulty in your gardens at this time of year is because of the season that we're in. So, we're in the summer season, so especially in the Bahamas. We experience, well, you know, an obvious rise in heat right. as well as humidity. These two factors can cause different issues to arise in your garden, such as fungal growth. You can have um, um, bacterial growth as well. Right. And all of these things can, you know, come together and basically cause you to have a really bad time in your garden. Right. So this is an excellent time. There are what? certain things that you can grow through the summer. Like we grow, we tend to grow a lot of radishes and stuff through the summer. Radishes right. and um, snow apple, also known as Hakurai turnips. Mm -hmm. And they seem to grow pretty well. But a lot of things such as leafy greens, like lettuces and stuff like that, they can suffer from too much heat, even if they are heat what you call heat tolerant varieties. Mm -hmm. So for example, as we stated in our last session, if you look at these here, these are actually romaine lettuces. What has happened is because of the excessive amount of heat and no shading protection over them, what has happened is they have now began to bolt, which basically means they've reached maturity. Bolting is what you see here, they've gotten really tall. If you were to bite one up into one of those leaves right now, instead of the nice, crisp, fresh lettuce taste you're used to, you will experience a really bitter taste. Mm. All of these small buds at the top of the lettuce plants, catch these, what will happen is they will flower. You can actually see some right here, just zooming on one of those yellow spots. Yep, so the flowers will open up, you know, they'll spread their pollen and stuff like that and then they'll dry up once the flowers dry up you'll be left with seeds one of these mm. le romaine lettuce plants can actually give you over 300 seeds 300 seeds uh -huh. wow well, just one usually depending on the variety but you can get up to 300 seeds or more from one lettuce plant wow so it is always recommended that when you plant lettuce you should let at least one or two of them you know bolt 
mm -hmm. just so you can harvest some seeds, you know, for another round of planting. That way you won't have to keep buying seeds. Right. Yes. Yeah. So Jermaine, I question, I know you mentioned um, that the soil will have to be tilled and um, you'll have to recompose the soil by adding um, new compost and adding um, fertilizer and those sorts. Um, could you state what are the benefits of each one of those um, additives that you add to the garden? Okay, so let's focus on the two that was mentioned. So compost, you can almost look at compost as a conditioner, a soil conditioner. Mm -hmm. You know, it helps to replenish the soil, helps to revitalize the soil, increase the microbiology in the soil, um, basically bring it back from a state of non-productiveness mm -hmm. to a state of productiveness. Right. So that's where your your um, compost comes in. Mm -hmm. Fertilizer supplies your nutrient needs. So let me just describe. Uh, let me just better describe the difference. With compost, you won't have a whole lot of nutrients typically. You'll mainly have trace elements. With fertilizers, fertilizers will contain all of your nutrient values and content. So you, uh, when you go to the store and let's say you purpose, you, you purchase an all-purpose fertilizer, right? Right. On the bag, you will usually see three numbers, right? And those three numbers are referring to the NPK ratio of the fertilizer that you're purchasing. This can also be found in bags of soil that mm -hmm. have fertilizer already added to it. Oh. And what NPK stands for is N, nitrogen, P, phosphorus, and K, potassium. Oh. Your, pe your periodic table, eh? Right. <laughs> yeah, so... Taking us back to school today. Yes, yes. So, um, and then they'll also contain um, other nutrients and trace elements as well in your all-purpose fertilizers. But those three mentioned there, the reason why they are labeled number wise specifically on the product is simply because those are your what you call macronutrients so you have macronutrients and you have micronutrients mm -hmm. right so your macronutrients as stated before nitrogen phosphorus potassium right and those and the reason why they are always stated like that is because they are the nutrients that are ne definitely necessary for your plant to survive and be healthy. Of course, you also have your micronutrients such as calcium and magnesium and stuff like that, which you definitely also need if you're trying to grow um, fruiting crops such as tomatoes and stuff like that uh, properly. Mm -hmm. And you want them to come out nice, good size, sweet. <laughs> because if you are lacking those, all of these work in tandem, because if you're lacking them, what can happen is, let's say you're growing tomatoes and you don't have enough calcium and magnesium in your soil, you can end up with something called blossom end rot. You ever saw a tomato and it has a rotten spot at the bottom? Right. Somewhere on the side, it's kind of dug out. Yeah, it isn't, it isn't necessary that um, some insect or a creature came and, you know, um, bit into it and ate it up. It could just be deficient in the needed nutrients. Wow. Yes. Wow. So look at the team. They already finished one complete bed. So you guys just saw that this bed was full of crops. Now it's empty. So they're going to till the soil. Go ahead and add compost to the soil and fertilizer. All right, thank you guys for joining us today for our next Backyard Garden uh, tutorial session. We look forward to sharing the next tutorial session in the next two weeks. Have a nice day, everybody. All right.